Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, as you can see by the title, we're going to be doing a sneaker pickups video. These are gonna be some sneakers that I've picked up in the latter part of 2020. So like the last couple of months up until this point, you guys know I like to do these twice a year or I try to do these twice a year. I like to do it halfway through the year and then I like to also do another one close to like fall sometimes winter but mostly fall so i will be doing another one of these videos with the remainder of the items that i get throughout the rest of this year i do have some sneakers literally on the way to me right now so the second video is already you know brewing i have items on the way and i plan to get a lot more throughout the rest of the year so in today's video i have about 16 pair if I'm not mistaken. So basically in this video or in these videos, I don't go crazy into detail. This isn't like a shoe review or unboxing or anything like that. This is literally just me showing you the shoe, telling you where I got it from, how much I spent versus the retail or if I got it for retail. So before we even get into the video, if you are new, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you are returning, thank you so much for coming back and seeing my face again for like the 15th time this month because y'all see I've been consistent. I'm not playing these games so definitely give me a huge thumbs up for that and also for more sneaker videos and with that being said definitely stay tuned i got a lot to show y'all so let's get right into it so i know i said i was going to start off basic but i completely forgot to add these shoes in the video so i wanted to add them in right now before i completely forgot about them so these are the air max 90 se air content pack and these i got really just because i really like the colors and it took me a while to wear these because it's a lot going on. <laughs> Honestly and truly, it's a lot. But I just really loved the warm colors. And I low-key was going to wait until like fall time to bust these out. But I just really, really wanted to wear them because I've had them for a little while. And I forgot about them. And I was like, sis, I need to wear these shoes. So I will pop up the photos of what I wore with these shoes. And I'm sorry I'm not in focus. I'm just trying to get it to adjust first. But these I ended up getting on GOAT and I got them in a, I want to say I got them in a seven in men's, but if they're not a seven in men's, they're definitely an eight and a half in women's. And they're just a really nice shoe. I really like these a lot. I do plan to style these again in the future, but I think I'm just going to wait until it gets a little bit cooler because these are like fall vibes for me. So I'm definitely going to style these again, so stay tuned. But I really like these shoes a lot. They're very, very comfortable. And yeah, I just wanted to pop these in before I got into the video so that I wouldn't forget to show them. So yeah, let's move on to the basics. So I'm gonna start off with like the basic shoes. So for me, basics are like Air Force Ones. And basically I literally just have a pair of all white Air Force Ones. I get a pair of these pretty much every year because I kind of wear them down throughout the year. This pair I've actually not worn yet, so I might actually have these for a little bit longer than I normally do, but typically I buy these once a year, depending on how much I've worn them throughout the year because I like mine to be crispy. I'm not that person who literally will buy a new pair after I wear them. Do you, okay? But yeah i don't really like for mine to be too worn in personally pretty sure i had a pair of these in my last video if i'm not mistaken but yeah these are just a staple a basic something everybody needs i get mine in a eight and a half women's and i also get a six and a half in grade school i feel like these can run big sometimes so i kind of teeter between like a six and a six and a half in youth and then a eight and an eight and a half in women's. But yeah, these are a eight and a half in women's and they're just your typical Air Force Ones. Okay, so next up we have another pair of Air Force Ones, but these are a little bit more umph, you know? Perfect for spring. When I saw these, I was like, I need them because I love Air Force Ones that have like a pop of color in them. And I don't know how this is showing up on camera. I don't know if it's like a mustard looking yellow, but it's definitely not. It's like a pastel kind of neon yellow, if that makes any sense at all. I will have clips of all the shoes in natural lighting so you can see the exact color. But these are the Air Force One White Citron. And it does have like this, can y'all see that? It's like a, a neon orange. Now I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a huge fan of this orange color on here. I love when they do the color but sometimes I'm a little iffy about the, the color that they put the Nike logo in. I'm just like, that would have been good, 
but I didn't need that. Like I didn't need that color, but I can bypass that for these because I actually really like them. I did style these, but I never posted the picture because I hated them. But yeah, these shoes are super, super cute. They are very comfortable, same size as I got in the original, if you will, Air Force Ones. I got these in eight and a half. And I completely forgot to tell you guys where I got the first pair from. Those were just from Nike.com. I actually hate getting shoes from Nike, but whatever. I just decided to get them on Nike, but you can literally get them anywhere online. And these I ended up getting on ASOS. So if you guys are ever looking for like sneaker releases, like not all sneaker releases, but some of them, ASOS will have them and they just be chilling on the website. Nobody knows anything. And I just be like, oh sis, I gotta get those. Because a lot of the times I catch these right on time because I'll get them and literally I'll check back like the next day or something and they'll be completely sold out. So definitely just continue to check, you know, ASOS, the sneakers, and you might find a pair of sneakers that you've been looking for. I'm definitely not gonna say like, you'll get a pair of ones on there, but they do release like a lot of the Air Force ones in these colorways and stuff like that. So yeah, definitely check ASOS. Okay, so next up we have these Air Force Ones, and as you can see, they have this really, really pretty green check. These are just white and green. It's just white and green. And these I got on ASOS as well. Y'all, I just got the worst news ever, but we're gonna continue, okay? So these I got from ASOS as well, and like I said, y'all need to be checking ASOS if you're looking for like Air Force Ones like this with the, you know, spring colors or in-season colors. And yeah, these are just nothing special. I just thought the color was really pretty and I like them. So that's why I got them. And these are also a eight and a half in women's. And if possible, I will link these down below because sometimes they restock like secretly and they don't be telling nobody. So if they are still in stock, I'll just go back to my recent orders and link them below. But if not, you guys can find these literally anywhere online. I just so happened to come across them when I was on ASOS. So yeah, these are super cute. I have not styled these yet either, but these are gonna be something that are very, very easy to style, especially in the summertime. And I'm about to start wearing more color, like I told y'all, so that's why I got these. So yeah, we're gonna move on to the next shoe. So these right here, okay. I need to unfollow Sherlina. Is that how you say her name? Sherlina, Sherlina Nim, Sherlina. Y'all know who I'm talking about, okay? Y'all know exactly who I'm talking about. I need to unfollow her because every time she posts a pair of shoes, okay, I just have to have them, and I just go and find them and I buy them. Like it literally happens. Not every single time, but a lot of the times. I'm very, very drawn to a lot of the shoes that she gets. These are the Air Force One Pixel, and these are in the color Sail Snake. So as you can see, the color is like, a, oh, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's like an off-white kind of cream a little bit. And then it has the snake skin check, and then the snake skin in the back. This is a really nice shoe. I just don't, I don't know. I like it. I do, I really do like these a lot but i guess it's just different for me the bottom the platform is different hence the name but it's like i can't explain it it's just kind of like rugged and it's a little bit thicker than the typical sole it's a very nice shoe you guys will see it like close up but something about it is just something can't put my finger on it but i do really like them a lot these I ended up getting on Nike.com. I don't know if they still are available, but I will try to link them below and maybe I'll find somewhere else that they sell them and put it below as well. But yeah, these I just got on the Nike site. I'm actually surprised I was able to get them and that they were still in stock. But yeah, these are cute. But like I said, I don't know how I feel about them exactly. So if y'all don't see these, they'll probably end up on my Depop or my Poshmark getting sold, but we shall see. Okay, so last but certainly not least, we have the Daniello Toronto Air Force Ones. If you guys watched my last video, I will link it in the cards and down below so you can check it out. These I had in the last video in white and he, he makes these custom Air Force Ones with the chain strap and then he puts a lock on it as well. And then he has his logo here and these, I love these shoes, okay? I still have not worn the first ones. Really because I just don't wanna mess them up. They're so nice. 
like this is something that you put on a shelf like if you're a sneakerhead or like you collect shoes this is something that i would put like on a shelf as a display item i probably wouldn't actually wear them um, i'm definitely going to end up wearing these eventually but they're just so nice and i don't know i love them and he just released these i want to say it was like i can't remember it was definitely in 2021 maybe a couple months ago and i just now got them maybe like a month ago because it, they are custom made so you have to wait like i can't remember how long it is exactly but yeah i got the white pair and when he dropped these i was like i have to get them you guys will see me style these eventually i'll probably style these before i even style the white ones because i feel a little bit more comfortable with the black ones because they won't get as dirty so yeah just stay tuned y'all will see how i style these in the future okay so now we're going to move on to jordans i don't have that many pairs to show so that's why i'm just going to knock these out real quick these are the air jordan 11 jubilee and i got these i didn't really want these but then my husband got them because he actually ended up getting them on the sneakers app which don't even get me started okay with that damn app i'm sick of it i'm over it i'm tired okay but these i did attempt to get on the sneakers app and i ended up not getting them and he did and when his got here i was like dang i want those because i just wanted to see if i could get them a lot of the times i join like the draw just to see if i can get them and if i don't then i'm just like whatever i don't care but these when he got them in the mail i was like dang i want those so i went and got these on goat i don't remember exactly how much i paid for these i, I know i didn't pay retail but i will have everything on the screen and yeah these i just really liked they're super sleek and they look really cute on the feet okay these are one of my favorite style of jordans as weird as they look i think these are like the cutest at least on me for me jordans are like a hit or miss i'm not a huge fan of a lot of the styles but this is definitely one of the styles that i really like on my feet and i just like the way they look they're really cute and they look good on everybody honestly so yeah these are definitely one of my favorites i have not worn these yet either but these are obviously very easy to style just black and whites i could wear them right now if i wanted to well maybe not with these jeans but yeah for my jordans i always get them in a seven youth depending on the shoe i'll go between like a six and a half youth and a seven and these are in the seven and yeah they're very comfortable i love them so yeah, not much more to say about these, so we're gonna move on. Okay, so next up we have a pair of Nike Cortezes, and these I just love, okay? I Initially, I'm not exactly even sure why I got these. Actually, I know why I got these. I had a very specific look that I wanted to do, and these shoes went perfectly with it, but I never ended up wearing the outfit, so I just have these shoes, but I actually really like them. They're very simple, and this was one of my favorite looks that I've done to this day, and it's it's the most basic look that I've ever done, to be honest, and you guys love that picture as well. I'll pop it up on the screen. Anything that I've styled in this video, I will put up on the screen, of course, but these I ended up getting from Macy's random i know but these i got from macy's and they were like if i'm not mistaken these were actually on sale so that's another thing i've gotten a couple pair of shoes from macy's before and they were actually like reduced price i guess because nobody is buying them and because nobody knows that they're there but these were actually very 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 cheap and I can't remember exactly how much I paid, but they were definitely on sale under retail. So, and with these, I saw that a lot of people were saying when it comes to Cortez's, you want to size up because of the rounded toe. It kind of gives like bowling shoe vibes. So with these, I sized up a half a size and they fit me perfectly. So I would recommend if I were you to size up a half a size, if you have really wide feet, maybe even a whole size but for me i just went up a half a size and they fit perfectly okay so this is probably my favorite shoe in this entire video only because it's not like any other shoe that i own number one number two it is a black designer okay and number three these are like the most comfortable shoes that i've ever put on my feet it literally feels like i'm walking on clouds on air I don't know okay but these are by pierre moss if you don't know who that is and this is one of their shoes that they came out with with reebok so these i ended up actually getting on the pierre moss website when they released i feel like this was like late last year i believe but i literally got them by the grace of god because when i tell you that these literally sold out 
in like two minutes, maybe even less. I don't know how I got them, but I'm so glad that I did because I love these shoes. They are so unique. They give me like Transformers, Lego vibes. I don't know, but these are so fire in all the colors. I love it. This blue, it has like some mint in the front, the yellow inside for like a pop. And then at the bottom, it's red. I love these shoes, y'all. These are so sick. I've seen them on StockX, and I'm pretty sure I've seen like people selling them in general, just like who bought them just to sell them. But I'm not selling these. I'm keeping these forever, and I'm probably gonna go get the other color that I missed out on before this one, which I'm gonna have to get on StockX, but I don't mind because it is black owned, okay? And I just, I have to. So I love these freaking shoes, okay? I love them. Okay, so next up we have a pair of Nike Shocks and these are in the color Nova Red or Red. And I I don't know really why I got these either. I really like the way that these look on. They're really, really cool looking. Like the bottom, initially I was kind of like, mm, I don't know about this, but they are very, very comfortable, number one, and they look really good on. And I just love this like pop of orange. I love like little pops of color and these, Pretty cool, I love it. I didn't pay like a crazy amount for these either. I guess these weren't like that great of a shoe to people, so they weren't like crazy overpriced for resale. And I, I like them. These are definitely the most unique sole. At first I was a little weirded out by it. It looks really weird. Me and my husband have like this thing where we see something, I don't know what it's called exactly, but basically when you see like certain shapes and things together it just makes your skin crawl that's how i felt about the bottom of this i'm sorry if i just did that to you i'm so sorry but yeah the bottom of these kind of weirded me out at first but they're actually very very comfortable and they look really cool on the foot okay so next up we have a pair of air jordan mids these i got on stock x and i ended up getting these in a seven i always get my jordan ones in a seven and i i like these but I'm not a huge fan of the mids because they just look like they just look like they're missing something. And I think it's just that extra little bit of space. But I don't know. I like these. I love the colors, of course, but I'm not a huge fan of mids. They probably don't look that bad at all, but it's just off like it's something off. I wore them a couple times and I was just like, I don't think I really like these as much as I thought I did. And especially because these are mids, I don't own any mids at all because I don't really like them. But these. I liked and I got them in person and I was like they're not terrible and I've only worn them one time so maybe I may sell these I don't know I don't know y'all these are cute though but I don't know y'all like mids let me know down below if you like mids because I'm not a huge fan but I do like this shoe though I can't I don't know like it's 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 something that's just throwing me off with the shoe and not to mention it's it's not the typical material as well like the center and the bag like it's just not it's not what I'm used to, I guess. So yeah, y'all let me know if you guys like mids down below and just stay tuned, I guess, on my Depop and Poshmark in case I may end up selling these if you're interested. But we're gonna move on to the next shoe. Okay, so next up we have a pair of Dunks and I just ended up getting the black and white ones. I do have a couple on the way as we speak. Um, I wanted to try out a pair first before I just dive right in because as you guys can see, Dunks have been very, very popular lately. And I love them, but I do not own a pair. And I just didn't wanna like, just start buying them like crazy until I tried out a pair. So I started with the black and white. And I absolutely love this shoe. It's so comfortable. It looks so cute, okay? On the foot, it looks so freaking cute. So these I ended up getting on Goat. And my trusted sources are StockX and Goat. And I know a lot of people don't like to use them because it takes, it takes a while, number one and it is a little overpriced, <laughs> you know? But I'd rather pay and know that they're gonna be authentic than to take any risk and get them from some reseller who you don't even really know if they're authentic or not. So for me, I'm okay with spending that extra money. But these, I got on GOAT, like I said, I got these in a eight and a half women's and they're very comfortable, so freaking comfortable. And I feel like these are definitely like the perfect summer sneaker and I do have a couple of colors on the way that are perfect for summer you guys have seen like all the colors and I believe there's a couple more pair that are dropping in June 
I don't think they're like summer colors, but I, I might, I might try to get them. I don't know yet, but these are so freaking cute. I love them. I love them. I think dunks are going to become one of my favorites now because I really like the way that they look on the foot and they're very comfortable and it's just like a everyday type of shoe if you will so yeah these are one of my favorites already and I haven't even worn them yet but y'all will see these very very soon okay so we have moved on to my favorite portion of the video and these are going to be all of the ones that I've gotten in the last six or seven months and I love these I have yet to wear them I don't know what's taking me so long to be honest I kind of forget about my shoes because I just have them in the closet chilling on the shelf so if I don't see them I'm not gonna wear them and I don't understand why I'm like this so I need to literally take them down or something so I can remember to wear them but these are literally one of my favorite pair of ones these are royal of course royal toe and I freaking love these so much I just love this color so much I love like cobalt royal blue it's just so pretty to me so yeah I need to style these very very soon because these have been just sitting and collecting dust literally so yeah y'all will probably see these soon now that I remember that I have them but yeah these are really 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 cute okay I got these in a 7 youth and I got these on stock X I can't remember how much I spent over retail, but I don't care because these are literally my favorite and it was worth it. I don't care how much they were, honestly. But yeah, these are so, so cute in the bottom, y'all. Okay, so next up we have a fan favorite, if you will. These are the Jordan 1 Mochas and I love these shoes. Initially, I was like, Ugh, because I felt like these were like a knockoff Travis Scott. If you know, you know. I thought that these were kind of like a knockoff version of those, but I actually really like them. And, and these are probably the Jordan ones that I've worn the most, surprisingly. And I don't know, this color is just, I love this color. So these, I've actually found like a few things that match this color perfectly, but this is like a mix between like gray and brown. It's a very odd, but very nice color at the same time. But I was determined to find something to match this perfectly because y'all know how I am. It's just, I just can't explain it. It's just, that's just how I am. But you can literally wear these with a lot of things. I've seen them styled so many different ways, literally so many different ways. And these are definitely a shoe that I would recommend to someone if they wanted to get a pair of ones, I would recommend you get these. And initially, like I said, I thought they were like a little bit of a knockoff Travis Scott, but I'm eating my words because I actually really like these. And like I said, these I've worn the most. So, okay. So next up we have the Lucky Green Jordan 1s. And initially when I first seen these, I was like, I'm not really a huge fan of that color. I don't know what it was. It just, it just didn't look good to me. I don't know. I didn't like it, but I like to take a little bit of time to let the shoe grow on me. I like to see people style it. I like to see just how it looks on people. And then I kind of make my judgment off of that. I'm not like an impulse buyer when it comes to sneakers, unless I absolutely love the shoe when I first see it. But yeah, I don't really like to buy sneakers on impulse because I have purchased sneakers in the past on impulse just because, and I ended up not liking them and I sold them or I sent them back or whatever. So with these, I absolutely love them. So yeah, with these, like I said, I sell them a couple of times, but I definitely want to do like a funky look. And I also want to switch out the laces. I know a lot of these Jordan 1s come with like multicolor laces. And a lot of the times I just keep like the, the basic color, but I think I want to switch it up the next time I wear these and either do like one with red or both with red, because I really like that pop of color on these shoes. I think both times that I've worn these shoes, I've worn a red lip because it just looks really good together. But yeah, let me know down below if you guys switch out your laces to like the colorful laces. If you do like one dark and one light, if you do both light, let me know, okay? Because I don't really branch out with the laces, but I'm about to start. I'm tired of being basic, okay? I'm tired of being basic. So yeah, let me know down below if you guys swap out your laces and we're gonna move on to the next shoe, okay? So next up, we also have another fan favorite. And these are the University Blue Jordan 1s. And I actually got these on the sneakers app. Can you believe it? Literally, these 
and the OG 11, Air Jordan 11s, were the only two pairs of shoes that I've ever gotten on the sneakers app, ever. And I don't even know how I got those, to be honest, but these I ended up getting. I was actually shook. And it was crazy because if you guys follow me on Instagram, when these did drop, I, I just went on the app and I was like, oh, let me see if I can get them. I typically do that when I don't really care for the shoe. I just want to see. And I ended up getting them. And I was like, dang, I really didn't want these, but whatever. So they came and initially I was like, eh, I'm just gonna sell them cause I don't really like this color. Like I like the color, but I, it was something about the shoe that I just didn't like. And eventually, eventually they grew on me. And a lot of people were in my DMs like, hey, like, are you gonna sell them? Like, how, what size are they? Like, let me know, girl, let me know when you're gonna sell them. And I ended up just being like, yeah, no, I'm not gonna sell these because I really like these shoes. These are like one of my favorites, literally one of my favorites now. So yeah, these are just, you know, they hold a special place in my heart because y'all know how rare it is to get the shoes on that damn app. So yeah, I just couldn't sell them. I just couldn't, I love them. They're definitely one of my favorites now. And I also have not styled these, but I have worn them already. So they got a little, little you know, they got a little bit of wear in them or whatnot. With my shoes also, just so you guys know, I buy like a crap ton of these, what are they called? Like crease protectors, if you will. I get a lot of these and I just, stuff them in my shoes when I get them. I just keep them on hand because I have so many freaking shoes that I like to get a lot of these. I get these on Amazon. I used to get them from Foot Locker online, but it just takes too long. So I just ended up getting these. These aren't the best, I'm not gonna lie, the ones on Amazon, but they get the job done. They get the job done. So if you want to get like the, the good ones, I would say go on Foot Locker but if you just want to get like a bulk pack of them just go on amazon okay so next up we have the one and only beautiful silver toe and i love these shoes look at it they just look so freaking nice i love these shoes okay so these i ended up getting on goat and i got these in a seven youth of course initially when they dropped i actually missed the drop and i was pissed because i was like oh, i actually really wanted those so i ended up just going on goat and i was like whatever and getting them i'm not sure how much i paid but i'll put it on the screen of course and these i've only styled one time and i kept it very basic but i do have this look that i want to do with these but it's more of a fall look so honestly if i don't style them any other way before then you guys won't see these shoes until fall which is ridiculous but yeah these are super nice and they go perfectly with my silver tail far bag okay i had to style these with the tail feezy i had to i wish i would have been able to get it when they dropped for retail but i didn't mind spending the extra money because i actually really like these shoes so yeah these are the silver toe and i have two more pairs okay two more pairs y'all just stick with me Okay, so next up we have the purple quartz, and these I took a while to get because let's just put let's just put it out there. I don't wear purple. It's nothing wrong with purple, but I literally realized that I just don't wear purple, and I was like, dang, I love purple. I don't understand why I don't wear it, you know. So when I initially saw these when they released, I was like, eh, whatever, because I don't wear purple like that. But more recently, I was like, dang, I really like those. I really like those. I actually prefer these, I'll put it up on the screen, but I like these as well. I'll probably go get those too, to be honest, because I like that look better. You know, I don't know if I'm even making any sense, but yeah, these aren't my favorite. If I had to pick between these and those, wherever I put it, I'll definitely choose those because it has more black. I'm usually more of a fan of the ones that have more black in them because these always look a little weird to me. I don't know what it is, but yeah, these I really, really like. I got these on StockX, as you can see. I still have the freaking tag on there. But yeah, these have the light purple laces, which I've seen a lot of people style with the light purple, and I really like the way that it looks. So these, I'll probably swap out the laces here and there. But yeah, these are super cute. And I will be selling these very soon, hopefully, hopefully. 
If I don't, don't hold me to it. But if I do, y'all will see it on my Instagram. So be sure to follow me there. It'll be linked down below, of course. And we have one more pair of shoes. I hope this video wasn't super duper long. We shall see when I'm editing. But we're gonna move on to the last pair. I know I said the Pierre Moss were my favorite shoes. They are my favorite shoes, okay? But these are like really freaking stinking close. Like they're like neck and neck at this point. These shoes I absolutely, absolutely love, okay? So I attempted to get these, okay, when they dropped. And of course I had no luck. These literally went like crazy, okay? So I already kind of knew. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna prepare for the worst because I just know I'm not gonna get them. And I didn't. But I did end up going on StockX and caving and just getting them because I love them. I love them, okay? So these are the Hyper Royal Jordan 1s and they do have like the gray worth every penny. I love these shoes so much. I have not styled them yet, but I do feel like these are a very, very easy shoe to style because the colors, you know, it's just very like chill, very light. I do like the way that this looks. It's giving very much like cloud. It's giving very much beautiful day outside, partly sunny, a little bit cloudy. Like I love these freaking shoes. I hate that. Like I truly love these shoes. Like these are one of my favorites literally in this video, aside from Pierre Moss, of course. But yeah, this is probably neck and neck with that. And I'm just, I'm in love. So I hope you guys enjoyed this sneaker haul. Definitely give it a huge thumbs up. Let's get her to 5,000 likes for your girl, okay? Definitely comment down below your favorite pair of sneakers in today's video. Comment down below if you have any of these. Comment down below if you plan to get any of these. Comment down below anything sneaker related, okay? Let me know down below your favorite pair of sneakers that have released, ones that you wanna get. Just anything sneaker related, let me know down below. And definitely be sure to follow me on Instagram so you guys can see me style literally all of these eventually at some point in my life whenever I get the time to freaking style them, okay? Y'all, I am freaking wired, okay? I drank some coffee before doing this video because I was real like, tired i started a new workout program and sis is killing me so with that being said i'm gonna get out of here because i literally have to put all these shoes back in these boxes lord help me okay but i love you guys so so much and i will see you all in my next one